Hello guys, today let's create a smoke effect in Niagara. Yeah, like this, a smoke burst. Okay, now let's start it. First, we need a smoke texture. In Unreal Engine 4, if we want to create this texture, we should use Houdini or Photoshop. But now, we can create this texture in Unreal Engine 5. We open plugins and search Niagara Fluids. Yeah, here. It's amazing, we can use it to create many simulation effects. Okay, here we need restart engine. And now if we create a Niagara system, we can see a new floater, Niagara Fluids. There are so many templates we can use. Here we use gas dust explosion as an example. Okay, let's open the Niagara. We can see the dust explosion in preview. We can also modify these parameters in this emitter to create different dust explosion. Uh, well, this is not the topic of this video, so let's show you how to bake a smoke texture in Niagara. Actually, it's very simple. We just click Baker and we will see a Baker panel. Here we can keep these parameters default. And in new sim, it's our simulation dust explosion. If we think this effect is good, we can click this button. Okay, we get a dust explosion texture. It's very simple. In this video, we don't use this. They just examples, so let's delete them. Okay, we can create this texture in Unreal Engine 5. Now, let's use this texture to create a material. The material is also very simple. We just use this texture, particle color, and depth fit. That's enough. Oh yes, don't forget to change blend mode to translucent. Okay, save the material. Now let's create Niagara system. Okay, let's see. Rename this emitter to smoke. In Spread Rendered, we use the material we just created. Sub UV is also need to change size 88. In emitter update, we add a spawn burst. The value we set it to 30. Now we can see the smoke in preview. But there was no animation. Don't worry, we just add sub UV animation in particle update. And select spread rendered. OK, smoke has animation now. And then let's modify initial particle. Left time mode, we set it to random. 0 0.7 to 2. Color, we use user parameter. And size, 500 to 600. Rotation mode is also random. We also need a shape location. The shape, we select cylinder. Height is 0, radius is 50. Enable surface only. OK, now let's add a velocity to make the smoke burst. Velocity mode we select from point. And speed is also random 600 to 800. And then we need scale color and scale speed size. Scale color, we use the float curve to control the RGB channels. 1 to 0. Yeah, use this template curve. And scale alpha, we can copy this curve. That's OK. And scale spread size, 
we set it to 0 0.5 to 1. Okay. We also need a split rotation rate to update split rotation. Negative 100 to 100. And then add a drag. Yeah, we use drag to make particle conform to physics. The drag will also use random range 2 to 4. Okay, let's see the smoke in the level. Make the color to black. Okay, the smoke doesn't look very good. It's too big, so let's change its position. Here we don't change its size because we want to keep some details of the smoke's edge. Okay, in initial particle we use position of sight. In Z axis we set it to negative 30. Now we see smoke spreading downwards. If we want smoke spread outwards, we need to make sure at velocity from point, the origin of sight is same to position of sight. So it's also negative 30. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it's still too big, so let's change spread size. In the end, we set it to 0 0.75. Okay, let's change its color to gray. Still a little weird because according to our physics logic, the speed of smoke spreading outward should be very fast at the beginning and then gradually slow down in process. We have achieved this with the particle speed, but we haven't achieved this with the material smoke material that's sub uv animation we need to change it mode to curve in this curve we set it very fast at the beginning in the end we make it slow down that should be it now we can see it looks more realistic that's great Okay, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.